Oh yeah, thank you for joining me. I'm putting our video together. I got, I've been bringing you connective tissue and muscle, this huge piece of muscle I'm, I'm on that I've been bringing to you. And uh, <clears throat> there's no working model for any of this uh, in volcanism on the planet. You'll find no lava flows, no lava fields, anything to do with volcanism whatsoever leaving these patterns behind. This is flesh here on the right. That's flesh. This is connective tissue. And you see this rind on the outside, I call it a rind, or I call it that uh, crackly piece. That's that bilipid membrane that they all have on one uh, identical, repeated, unique pattern that's on almost every one of these. Repeated over and over and over, identical. I'll show you something here. Okay, here's another massive piece of connective tissue, one of the biggest ones I've found so far. It's like 13 feet wide. You see this membrane right here? That's that membrane I'm talking about. That it's on absolutely almost every one of them, this identical membrane. That piece right through here. That's the outer edge, and then there's an inner edge of this piece right here. And every one of these have this unique, distinct characteristic on almost every one of them. And then I'm getting into these bigger pieces, and you'll notice this pattern in here of these pieces laying in here. They would call this, normally they, a geologist would call this a feeder dike. This is not a feeder dike. This is tissue muscle with connective tissue. I've been bringing you tons of this in my videos. i got hours of this stuff that I've been bringing you. So I'm going to share some more of this video with you and you'll notice just realize that this stuff is not volcanic in any way whatsoever. Um, they say it's formed underneath the oceans or whatever and no it's not. You can, yeah, there's no working models for this anywhere. That's just a theory they have because it's not done in space obviously. It's not done in front of their face obviously. So it's got to be happening underneath the surface. No, this was a one-time event. It never happens ever again because this is biological and this is mud fossil creation is what this is. These are carcasses of these creatures that the earth is just loaded with them and some of them are so massive they're continents. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what's going on. This is biological. Okay, look at this piece of muscle here with connective tissue going through this. This is not vol vulcan volcanism. This is not lava, folks, okay? You, you, this is not lava with this stuff poking up through it, you know? What would that be then? If this was lava, what would that be? That would have to be lava too, <laughs> or, or, or magma, something, right? And So what would that be? You see what I'm saying? This is, if you just stop and think for a minute, take a look at it, you will see this is biology. You will find nothing in volcanism that looks anything like this, okay? Notice how this is a connected tissue, this is muscle. Look, notice how tight it's butted up against it. There's no gaps, there's no nothing. I mean, it is really tight up against this stuff. It didn't just poke up through it and flow up through it and spread out everywhere. This is muscle and this is connective tissue. Okay, this is, this, this is the uh, connective tissue, and this is flesh, and there's that membrane on a big piece of connective tissue. I'm going to play a little bit here, and I'll show you some more of this membrane that's sticking out like a sore thumb. There, that's muscle, and look how tight the muscle is up against this big piece of connective tissue. You see that? I mean, it's really up tight against it there. See that? And you can see the obvious difference. This didn't wasn't liquid and flowed out onto this, or this wasn't liquid and this popped up through it. This is biology. This is not lava and this is magma or lava and magma. You see what I'm saying? It's the same material as according to them, but it, it, it can be. It's impossible. Now here's that rind that's going around the outside edge I've been showing you on all of them. I'm going to play a little bit here, and I want to show you some pieces right here. There's that edge that I talk about that's on everything. That's the outside edge of this piece. Now look at these right here that's coming up. These little pieces of, of connected tissue have that membrane going all the way around the outside edge of it I've been talking about. Okay, it sticks out like a sore thumb on these. These couple right here I'll show you. Right there. You see this black line all the way around this? That's that membrane that's on almost everything that I'm finding. Every one of these uh, pieces of connective tissue. So you got a connective tissue here, flesh, more pieces of connective tissue here, and flesh right here. This is just two pieces of small connective tissue right there is what that is. Okay, here's another piece, big piece of connective tissue with the outer edge I'm telling you about, that, that lipid membrane, and this here is muscle. So muscle, big old piece of connective tissue. The rest of it's not in the picture there, but this is all connective tissue from here over to the right. There's another massive piece of connected, or big old, it looks like a wall, doesn't it? This is connected tissue with the muscle deteriorated, more muscle right here. This is all muscle right here. 
and this is the connective tissue that's deteriorated and the outside edge of part of it's gone but that's connective tissue right there too okay this is one of the biggest pieces of connective tissue I've found so far this thing is absolutely massive it's about 13 feet wide and this has that blockier stuff like uh, I have found um, in some other places you'll see as I get down in here and um, this thing goes from there clear over to here see the difference in material between that and that this is flesh on this side got more connective tissue flesh on this side of it and flesh over on that side of it as you can see here totally different material there's no working model for any of this stuff on the planet I'm gonna step down here and show you the pattern of these how they lay in there they would call these a feeder dike normally uh, geology would or absolutely they'd call this a volcanic intrusion but there's no working models for any of this on the planet and the reason for that you know they say it happens underneath the surface where you can't see us well see it well that's really the only thing they can say they can't say it happens in the sky and they obviously it's not happening in front of us so they that's the only option they have is underneath the surface but that's not what's going on it's biological it never happened underneath the surface that's why there's no working models here's another piece of connective tissue coming right down into the side of this great big massive piece i'm going to step down in here and show you the pattern on the sides of these that i've had in my other videos too this connective tissue there's a piece coming underneath that log right there there's a piece right there too that i'll be showing you but this thing is massive so i'm going to step down in here and show you some of this and then uh, this thing is just incredible you can see the flesh difference i won't fall in my butt here you see the difference between the flesh and there's the outside edge it has that that piece that they all have that, that surrounds that that membrane that um, i think it's a bilipid or at least a lipid and that's a bilipid membrane on the edge of it it's got on that side there too so i'll be bringing that to you here in a minute okay i'm trying to show you the pattern the design without falling down in that water of the sides of this see the sides of that they're almost somewhere hexagonal square where real blocky chunky okay that's this edge the inner part of this big membrane but that's the inner part of the real chunky hard uh real fibrous tough stuff of it and it transitions from the outside edge to the smaller stuff there's that membrane on this one too right there i'll get over there and show you i think i did in the video it's right there okay this stuff is actually pink or red when you get into it it's all oxidized you know how chunky this stuff is there's that edge that membrane that, that we're talking about all the time right there i was just down in there and there's that membrane see i believe you're going to have this outer piece the inner piece of the membrane and i believe there is there is that is what it is this is a membrane itself you got this outer piece real fine this here that's even you know a little more coarse then there's an inner piece identical to it right here right here there's a piece that looks like it's the exact same thing as this outer piece so that would actually be a membrane so a bilipid membrane all right, well, I'm going to step on over and get over to pick up where I left off. This thing is massive. This thing's like 12 foot, somewhere in there probably. I think I'm repeating myself in this one, but I wanted to come back down here today. And we'll... Yeah, that was that outer piece of that membrane, I think. All right. So this is where I left off. I was, I believe on that great big one here. This membrane's where I left off, somewhere in here. Um, and you got this one going through there. Remember them stripes I told you about? Look at the stripes on it, see? Oh man, everything's really slick. See them stripes? And those lines. Yeah, we run into that all the time too, just not on everything. I'll remember that great big one doesn't have those lines. Of course, it could be all, what, what are deteriorated down to where you can't see them all right let's get out here and look at some of this stuff and i got i'm gonna try to go find that the other day i had a chunk of mu muscle in my hand i couldn't pack it with me because it's so heavy so i chucked it 
and here we come into a membrane right here coming over across from that coming right off of that one I think I showed you in the video see that one splitting off of this one and it's going through right through here this is it it comes up here and twists you can see it right there I'm standing on it, it comes right up here and this is it here see it and that comes over and ties into this boy this is really fibrous in here there's connective tissue all over in here I mean I mean flooded this four-way right here that one's coming through there and going down through there and that one's coming across and going right through there and this is just all blood and tissue on the left and also on the right Another big connective tissue. Look at this one running out here and two of them side by side. That one's coming off of there. Runs there and this one's running right along beside it and turns. Wow.